It is day 27 of the partial government shutdown. For each day that the shutdown stretches on, we're getting a better idea of just who is being affected. Tonight, we are looking at the potential cost to Chatham area transit customers. Here's Steve Martin Staunton is in downtown Savannah for us with a closer look at that tonight. Good evening to you, Ben, and to everyone watching. We are live at Cat Central. It's the hub of mass transportation in Savannah, and the partial shutdown is having an impact here putting the brakes on vital funds and this shutdown if it's prolonged could impact tens of thousands of riders but they're not the only locals who will feel the impact of those frozen federal funds. CAT gives roughly 15,000 rides every day. The federal government contributes around $3.5 million a year to help cover operational costs and capital improvements, but the shutdown denies access to the money. CAT's chief financial officer, Terry Harrison, says trimming any fat from an already lean budget won't be enough to cope with the long term shutdown. We are reviewing our contingency plans. We will have to seriously consider some alternatives if the shutdown goes more than a few more months. And those alternatives could be some type of service reduction or service interruption to make it through the eventual shutdown and, and start back up of government funding. Harrison says the action would end when the federal government fully reopens. Riders we spoke with say they can't believe the ride they rely on is caught up in the battle for border wall funding. If Trump wants a wall of money he's got, let him build his own wall. Turn shutting the government down for something he wants. Well, it would really hurt me because it's, I don't have my car, I don't have no relatives, and nobody. It really, it really would be a devastating for me. It really would. Harrison says the federal conflict is bringing the impact to a local level and right here at CAT. The impact on CAT is a byproduct of the shutdown. We found more than 26 federal offices listed in the yellow pages for Savannah alone. Landlords leasing space to the federal government won't get paid and they can't evict. But until they start back up, we cannot access the reimbursement mechanism through the government software and payment system. Right now, there is no end in sight to that partial shutdown. Reporting live in Savannah, I'm Martin Staunton, WSAB News 3.